We are now in the penultimate question of the part one. It's on fundamental theorem of calculus. All the problems are definite integral problems. When definite integrals, you will be given the limits and these can be directly solved in the calculator. All you need to do is type it out as it is integral three from way to way minus three to one. What happens? The answer is 12. Same way you can do any other problem. Integral, type it out as it is. Only one variable is there that is x q, uh, x variable or any other variable. But it will be only a single variable. It is 8x squared plus 21x plus 20. And now what you need to do is start from minus 3 till minus 1. And the answer is 16 by 3 or it is 5.333. That's the thing. If you're wondering what is the method, it's very simple. You need to just integrate this. What happens if you, I'll take the simple problem because the method is same. When you integrate it, it's going to be 3x, right? Now you apply the limit 1 and minus 3. Upper limit is always bigger number. Lower limit is a smaller number. Now when you apply the limits, it's upper limit minus the lower limit. That means 3 times 1 upper limit minus 3 times minus 3. So what's the answer? It'll be 1, sorry, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 3 times 3 is 9, but minus 9, minus, it'll be plus, answer is 12. Same thing over here, it would be just x cubed minus x cubed by 3 plus 10x. Now you need to apply the limit 2 and minus 1. What happens is, the first one will be minus, instead of x, you ought to put 2 plus 10 times 2 minus the entire thing again with the value of 1. Instead of x, you put minus 1, sorry. Over here, plus 10 times minus 1. Here, now we can put this in the calculator and solve, or you can just directly put it because it's MCQ part. But let's solve this up. It'll be 248 minus 8 by 3 plus 20 minus over here, it's cube minus sign remains. Minus minus will be plus. So it'll be 1 thirds. But well, because minus 1, the whole cube is minus 1 itself. Then you multiply this minus, it'll be plus 1. 1 by 3 plus 10 times minus 1 will be minus 10. And now let's solve it up. You multiply this minus sign here. It's going to be minus 8 thirds plus 20 minus 1 thirds minus, uh, minus and minus will be plus 10. So here it will be 30. Why? 20 plus 10 is 30. And what about this? minus 8 by thirds and minus 1 by thirds add them up but the minus sign it's 9 by thirds that is how much 30 minus 3 answer is 27 yes that's the answer so that's the long method but easiest method is in the calculator definite integral problem you have a symbol over there just click on that and that is the end of this question